What's up guys, Chris here with a new video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble an APS Cam 870 shotgun shell, CO2 shell. So this is what it looks like assembled. We have the rim back here. We have the plunger or uh, valve stem right here. I like to call this the firing pin. <laughs> As well, or I'm um, sorry, the um, not the firing pin. What's it called on a real shell? Striker, Pr no primer, primer. Sorry, the primer. And then we have the the plastic body up here. So basically, to get this apart, there are a couple of steps that you have to do. You need to unscrew the uh, metal shell from the plastic shell. Now. I have a little bit of sweaty palms and weak hands, so I'm going to be putting on a pair of gloves for this. You'll do it whatever way you find works. Basically what you want to do is you want to grab on to this, this metal section, both the rim and the metal shell, and then undo the plastic body. It should come off fairly easily. It comes out like this. And you'll see there's an O-ring down here. And there are threads in here as well. So that's what mates these two together. So we'll put the plastic shell to the side. And the next step would be that we need to get the rim off. Now these normally are pretty tight and they should be uh, and the reason why they might be tighter than than you would like or expect is that there's an o-ring in here between the metal body and the rim and that has a tendency to swell up a little bit so if I try to undo this just by hand with, with these rubberized gloves um, I can't do it so what you would need to do is you can either, here's the thing, you want to be careful not to mar or deform the metal body too much because that actually, um, you need this structure to be intact. So what you can clamp onto is this upper piece between the rim and the actual body. So that space right there. So, to, to actually undo the rim, I'm going to use a plumber's wrench, and it's going to go like this on the rim, and we're going to undo it. But I can't do that by hand, so I have one of these, like, hydraulic uh, clamps, or whatever you want to call it, and we will be putting the shell and this and trying to get it on tight <laughs> now there is such a thing as you might go too much and actually deform the shell so let's see if we can do this we come in with the wrench and Yeah, the whole shell is spinning, so <sighs> that's a bit of a problem. Um, I've prepared a piece of regular paper, tissue paper here. It has a little bit of texture on it, so I'm going to fold this up, wrap it around the main body of the shell, and this will hopefully give it enough friction to not twist when we try to undo the cap. So we'll try it again. Okay, there we go. So now just the cap came loose and not the whole shell. So once you're at this point you can take it, you could use a vise or something similar. And now we can just undo the rim. 
and you can see here there's the, the o-ring that I was talking about this has a tendency to swell up and that's what makes it so difficult to remove so let me take off my gloves all right so now you can pull the rim out and the valve stem may or may not come out with it and what's left inside is a spacing washer and an o-ring at the bottom so i'll use a pointy file you want to be careful here not to actually mar up the finish or the machining because this is all very precise actually there's one thing in here that wants to come out and this is this is the uh this is pretty much just a spacer sleeve to put pressure on the washer on here and the washer in here to make sure that the o-rings that are on either end there's one at the bottom and one here at the top those are press fitted in, in place so we can put that to the side go ahead and just nudge these two pieces out you can see there's the o-ring and the washer and this is now empty the only thing that's left on here is the bottom o-ring you don't have to take this off uh, but I would probably recommend replacing the original o-rings with something else because the, they're uh, they're pretty poor quality so the bottom o-ring comes off like this I'll put an annotation uh, down here on the specifications of this o-ring if you want to replace it and so the main shell body is now empty so what we have on this end is the the rim the valve stem which we can dislodge like so put that to the side we have the washer top washer and we have the o-ring in the center of the rim it can pop out like that and on here again we have the big o-ring comes off like that and uh, I'll put a annotation and also in the description the specification for that o-ring in case you want to replace it now here's the thing I have a mod for this that makes disassembly a whole lot easier um, the problem with using wrenches is that you mar up the finish of the rim and this needs to be in good condition for the extraction to work properly right so here's there will be a link in the description to how to do this I simply use a Dremel cutting disc to make a cross cut in that part of the the uh, rim and then I use a uh, ground grinded down screwdriver to remove the shell but that that's a separate video so here we go the shell disassembled let me line all of this up we have the plastic body inner metal body rim spacing sleeve top washer bottom washer top o-ring bottom o-ring and then we have two uh, I'm sorry one o-ring on the rim and one on the metal shell and we have the valve stem as well so that is how you disassemble the APS cam 870 shell the difficult way now please go look in the description if you want to do this this mod to your shells I would highly recommend it if you find that you're taking them apart a lot definitely helps so that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one